everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Unapologetic Skincare and Beauty, and I'm Stephanie. Unapologetic Stephanie. <music> Today we're doing um, my subscription box slash bag unboxing and review. Um, I really like unboxings, but I also like to know what the person thought about the product. So what I do is I unbox myself and then I go ahead and try out the products for a couple days or a week or so. That way when I unbox for you, I already have opinions and thoughts on the products at hand, whether I like them or not. There's gonna be a winner from each subscription and then there's gonna be an overall winner at the end for the month. So I do Ipsy, Birchbox, and Sephora Play. Um, I wish I had more, but you know, that's all I'm allowed right now. So, definitely a hair. Like It's definitely like, I think it's my hair. I hope it's my hair. It's better to have your own hair like stuck in your lip gloss than somebody else's hair stuck in your lip gloss, just for future reference. Let's get started with this month. So, so it's May, doing the subscription unboxing on bagging for May. Let's start with Birchbox because that is the closest one to me. So this is May's Birchbox, it's yellow, and it's got like, uh, it's yellow and gray and it's got like some weird design on it, kind of looks like an egg in a cup, but okay, I like yellow and gray. Let's reach in, see what we got. Now the first thing I pull out is this New Face Prep and Glow Textured Cleansing Cloth. So at first I thought they were shampoo samples. I hate when I get shampoo samples in my subscription boxes or bags because I feel like they're such like throwaways. Don't give me something in my subscription box or bag that I can get in like a box of hair dye. I just, I don't want it. I don't want like this tiny, like I have a lot of hair and it's thick. Your little tiny shampoo or conditioner sample is not gonna do anything for me and I'm not gonna have enough to use it long enough to see if it like actually works. So I wish like, I wish I could just tell them, stop. And every time I review my box or bag on the app, I say like, I don't like it. And they keep sending them, is who's listening to these? So anyways, I went on a tangent, I'm sorry. This is not a shampoo or conditioner sample, but it kind of is just as, it's stupid, it's a cleansing cloth. And they gave me two of them. So I have two cleansing cloths. I have a ton of cleansing cloths in my bathroom. I mean, I figure most of them are like the others, but so let's get out the, uh, let's get out the description card. And let's see what the, they say about it. So new face prep and glow cloths, the full size is $20. These double-sided wipes clean, exfoliate, and hydrate. The soft lace cotton side removes makeup, while the other gently exfoliates with micro dots to reveal glowy skin. I mean, okay, I'll try them. I, I'll throw them in my gym bag or something. I don't need my cleansing cloth to exfoliate. I have enough chemical exfoliators. I have, you know, a, a brush I use in the shower. So I don't really want my facial cloths to exfoliate. I just want them to remove makeup, but We'll see how it goes. Nah, I'm not impressed. I haven't tried them yet because like I said, I have so many facial cloths, like wh All right, next, we have got, now <laughs> I never know, like some of these companies I've never heard of before, so I probably butcher the names. So I'm so sorry if I butcher these names. If you know the correct pronunciation, don't think I'm stupid. I just never heard of it, so I'm doing my best. So this is the Vita Liberta Fabulous Self Tanning Gradual Lotion. Full size is $30. Um, build your bronze with this fragrance-free lotion that goes on clear and develops a natural looking tan in hours. So I did put this on one of my hands um, yesterday and then not on the other hand. So I put it on this hand and not on this hand. And I don't know if you can see, but I mean, yeah, this hand is a little oranger. I don't like self tanning lotions or tanners you have to put on yourself because I'm so bad at it. Like I always miss my back and you know certain places and then it looks streaky and weird and I'm just not a huge fan, especially ones that go on clear because you don't really know where you put it, right? Um, it's a really good size for a sample though. It is 1.69 ounces, so that's a really good size for a sample. I probably will not use it though. Um, just because, like I said, I, I get spray tanned when I feel like having a tan. That way I kind of know it's covered. And, you know, the machines are better at putting the tan on than I am. 
I don't want to, I don't want to leave this up to me to be tan because I'm so pale if I miss some place or, you know, yeah, like if I miss some place, it's going to be pretty obvious. So I will probably not use this, but it's a good size sample and I, I like good size samples. All right, what's next? We've got the Amica Perk Up Dry Shampoo Full Size, huh, Amica Perk Up Dry Shampoo Full Size $25. This custom favorite weightless spray has the brand signature, nope, Oblifica scent? Oh my God. It refreshes days old hair with rice starch that absorbs oil, boosts volume, and enhances shine. It does smell really, really good. I can say that. Personally, if I'm using a dry shampoo, I can't have it leaving a white cast because I have dark hair. So, I mean, I, I used it. It did add volume. I did notice that more than a lot of dry shampoos I used when I did spray it in my hair, it did volumize it and perk it up, which I guess that's why it's called perk up. But um, it did leave a white cast. I had to brush it after, which kind of, I don't know, took away the point of having the volume because once I brushed it, it kind of went back down. So if I'm using a dry shampoo, I do want to use one that doesn't leave a white cast. But it smells great, it did give volume. If you're a blonde or you have lighter hair, it's probably work awesome. I, I have a lot of dry shampoos, so I mean, I'm not, it's not gonna be my go-to. I feel so negative about this. Like, I feel so negative about this birch box. I'm sorry. All right, so next, we have the Benefits Cosmetics Boing. The Benefits Cosmetics Boing Airbrush Concealer, number one, light, because I'm light. Full size is $20. A sheer to medium coverage concealer that doesn't crease, cake, or crack. This longwear waterproof formula blurs fine lines, brightens under eye circles, and evens out skin tone. I was really excited about this because I like benefit stuff and I love concealers and I'm always looking for like a really good concealer um, that's going to cover a lot. I don't think this was it for me. Um, first of all, it's darker than I like a concealer to be. I'm very pale normally when I'm not when I'm not spray tanning, and um, I always want my concealer to be a little lighter than my foundation. So this is actually a little dark for me. It might work for you know my tanner days, but um, I found it creamy. I didn't feel like it was you know airbrushing anything. It didn't conceal like I wanted it to. Um, it really didn't conceal at all. I don't really feel like it did much, um, but it's cute and it's called Boing. I can't I can't do a spring sound effect boing 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 that was better that was the best one boing because you want that lower pitch when you're trying to sound like a spring i was excited about it but not so much now and i don't like the fact that it comes in like a a little jar i don't like dipping my things into things <laughs> i <laughs> my things into things i don't like dipping my fingers into things and then putting them on my face i really like a concealer that applies with like a wand or something like that or maybe like in a liquid form I can put on a beauty blender because I don't like dipping my finger into jars and putting it on my face because I feel like I'm leaving bacteria and stuff in here and that can leave me prone to breakouts which I already am so not a fan so negative so negative this month all right what do we have next last but not least the Adesi is it Ades or Adesi Ades New York Oh, they're killing me this month with the things I can't pronounce. Kapuku Butter Lip Balm, full size 24. No need to know how to say kapuku. Oh, good. I did not know how to say it. I'm glad that I'm not alone. What? Kupuasu. That's apparently how you pronounce it. You should know that this lip butter seals in 340% more water than the average balm, leaving lips super supple. That's crazy. I didn't actually read that before now. Um, so it, it's cute. It's actually, it actually is nice. It, it comes in this little tube here. And it's got sort of like a pink sheen to it, if you can see. But um, it doesn't leave any color on the lips at all. So I'm actually going to swatch this in my hand so you can see it doesn't leave any color on the lips. It is super soft. Oh, I just almost put I almost put that like directly out my nostril. It smells good. It smells like, I don't know, maybe vanilla. Maybe that's what kapukusu, no, forget it. Maybe that's what that, that ingredient smells like. And it's probably my favorite thing out of my birch box this month. So the cup, the lip butter, <laughs> so the Ades or Adesi lip butter 
in my May Birch Box was the winner for me because everything else was such a loser. So it's kind of like the best of the worst. I like it. I'll use it. I have a lot of lip balms. I'm always like putting stuff on my lips because they always seem dry. So I definitely will use this probably more often than anything else that came in my Birch Box this month. All right, moving on. What's next? What's next? What cool samples are we gonna look at? Okay. <sighs> moving on. Does anybody, I feel like I'm dating myself, but you remember that song by Maya? It was like, I'll be moving on. I gotta listen to that. Like, that's, that's gonna, that was a good, like, 90s summer jam. Maybe it was early 2000s, but that was a great jam. Okay, so next we have my Sephora Playbag. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like denim sort of, and it has a um, red and white cord. I don't know what I'm supposed to use these these bags for. I use the Epsi bags all the time, and the birch boxes, birch boxes I used to. I put like presents in them and stuff when I'm wrapping them for like gifts or whatever like I definitely reuse them but these I just I'm not sure what I use them for they just kind of like build up in my closet and do you guys have any hints of what you use these Sephora play bags for let me know in the comments so that I can start utilizing the many that I have that are just taking up space so anyways this is the info card that it comes with it's it's big they always are um and it's kind of like a cute little, I don't know, comic, but I hardly ever read these. Ugh, I'm so bad. I'm like, I just want to get to the products. All right, so let's dig right in. First thing I pull out is the Diva Curl. It's the Super Cream Coconut Curl Styler. Now, I was excited about this sample um, because, first of all, it's a really good size sample, and Second of all, I already used this. I have curly hair and this Diva Curl Coconut Cream Styler is literally the only thing that makes it like the makes the curls like defined. Otherwise it's frizzy and a mess. So like in the summer when I don't want to straighten my hair a lot because it's humid and it's not gonna stay straight anyways, I always, always, always use this and the gel of from this line too. And it keeps my hair really like defined and you know less frizzy and manageable. So I was happy to get this, but I do already have it in my cupboard, so I use it all the time. Why is a classic? This nourishing super styler does all the things. Does all the things. It's coconut infused formula, moisturizes strands, and minimizes frizz, and prevents breakage while adding major shine and softness. It does all that. It smells so good too. It smells just like coconut. It smells like it smells like coconut oil. I mean, it's it's really, really, really good. It's awesome. If you have curly hair, you really have to look into Diva Curl. It's it's a really good um, it's a really good line of products for your hair for curly girls. Uh, I swear by it. Whenever my hair is curly, this stuff is in it. Moving on. Okay, we've got the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask for clear pores. So. <laughs> Once again, I really like the Sephora play bag because they do send really good size samples and I like good size samples. I have used so many charcoal masks and um, I'm always trying to find a dupe for the Glam Glow Super Mud treatment because it's like $70, it's very expensive, it's awesome. And so I have tried this before as well as so many other like mud and charcoal masks trying to find a dupe and I haven't yet and this is not a dupe for it. Um, I really didn't feel like it did all that much and it takes forever to dry. So the Glam Glow, like you put it on and probably within like one to two minutes, it's already starting to dry down. Whereas this just stayed really wet on my face for several, probably four or five minutes till it finally did start to dry down. And, and then it just washed off and I didn't really see any difference. And I like Origins as a company, um, as far as skincare goes, I really do. This did not really do anything and I just love my Glam Glow. Like, I'm glad I, I have this. It's gonna be nice, I don't know, maybe if I use it more. I don't know, maybe if I use it more. But it really didn't do anything all that much. It didn't leave my skin looking any certain way. I didn't notice any, you know, any difference in, in my acne or any breakouts that I had when I used it. And when I use Glam Glow, like immediately I always see like um, a reduction of the inflammation, either you know as soon as I wash it off or definitely the next morning. I did not get that with this, so I would not repurchase this. I'm sorry. 
All right, next we have, <laughs> it's the Kodali. Kodali? Kodal? Kodali. Vino sauce? Moisture. It does not say vino, so vino source. So we have the Kodali Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet. Best selling gel cream that hydrates, soothes, and softens even the most sensitive skin. Not a fan of this. This is my least favorite thing in here. Um, first of all, there's like no product in here. So right when I squeeze it out, like I'm going like, like I've used this once and, I, and then hardly any came out and I literally have to like squeeze it to get anything out, um, which, you know, lets me know this wasn't a full bottle to begin with. So that kind of pisses me off. I don't like how it smells. When I hear it's like a moisturizing sorbet, I think it's going to smell fruity, like raspberries or strawberry banana smoothie or something like that. And it smells like, uh, I don't know. It smells like Earl Grey tea and lemon until you wipe it in more. And then it smells like grass, like dirty grass. I don't know. I wasn't a fan. It does not moisture at all. It doesn't leave like a nice sheen after you put it on. So, you know, when you put on something really moisturizing, like your skin looks really healthy and glowy right after and it does not do any of that so I definitely would never repurchase it I have really no use for it at this point all right next we have the oh, I love this. so this is the Smashbox it's the pore well it's the photo finish foundation prime pore minimizing so I have almost all of Smashbox primers. I love Smashbox primers. They're always the best. I have the moisturizing under eye one. I have the hydrating one that I put on like my cheeks and my forehead. And I have the, um, the original like clear one that I always put on my T-zone because it takes away uh, the shine. And I have never heard about this and I don't know why I haven't heard about this. It literally does minimize pores. Like when I put it on, even before I put my makeup on, I saw it fill in my pores right away. So I love this. I love Smashbox primers. They are probably my favorite primers ever of all time. So this was a win for me. We have one more item in here. Maybe we have two more. Yeah, we have two more. So we have, we have, we have two more products in here, but so far, this is my favorite. This is the winner so far. Let's see what else we got. All right, I've got, this is the, this is the Marc Jacobs Beauty. It's their mascara, but it's the um, Velvet Noir Major Luxe Mascara in Noir. Noir, Noir. So it's called Noir and the color's Noir. How many times am I gonna say noir? Noir, 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 noir. A velvety no clump mascara that creates voluminous lashes with a unique curvy brush. Always with the mascara. First of all, I love Marc Jacobs. I think that um, they have an amazing beauty line. Their makeup's really good. And I can always tell if a mascara is gonna be good or not by the brush. Uh, the formulation's excellent and the brush is awesome. It does have a cool curvy brush. Um, it basically like just takes the form of your eyelashes. I even feel like it curls it a little bit and the formulation's really, really good. It doesn't clump, it doesn't flake off and I do have a lot of issues with mascara flaking off all the time under my eyes and this doesn't do that. So I've used this two days in a row and I love it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna purchase it just cause I have so many mascaras right now that I am using and trying to get through but when I do get through them, I will most definitely purchase it and, and it's really good. It a perfume sample guys Gucci bloom so as much as I hate getting shampoo and conditioner samples I hate getting perfume samples I don't like ever getting perfume samples because I don't know I've worn the same perfume since I was 15 years old Clinique happy I love it it's just it's always worked for me I like how it smells and every time I get a perfume sample in one of these bags they smell the same to me they smell like old ladies perfume. Uh, I don't like, it's really floral, which I guess, I guess that's why it's called bloom. So it smells a little bit like lilacs and I live in Rochester, New York. So we have a big festival every year. It's the lilac festival and they sell this lilac scented perfume there. It's like 10 bucks for a huge bottle. And this is exactly what it smells like. And I like the smell of lilacs, but it just reminds me of that cheap perfume that literally like the smell just stays with you. So no, mm -mm, I don't like it. All right, next. Oh, 
we forgot about the winner. We forgot about the winner for Sephora Play. The winner for Sephora Play in the month of May, Sephora Play in the month of May, was, I think you already guessed it, it's the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. And I use like multiple of the Smashbox primers on my face at once. So I use the hydrating one like on my cheeks and my forehead, like I said, and then the um, matte one on my T-zone and on my chin. And then I use the under eye hydrating primer and I use the lid primer from them. And this one, because it's pore minimizing, I'll probably swap out for the hydrating primer and put that on my cheeks and then maybe put the hydrating primer over it. But I mean, I'm like using like five or six Smashbox primers on my face in any given day. And it's because they're awesome. So that's the winner. Next, we've got Ipsy. So here is Ipsy's bag. It's orange. And then on the front, it's got like passport stamps and stuff. I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of Ipsy bags. My six-year-old son loves when I get an Ipsy bag because he always, he usually will take it and he'll put stuff in it. Like he's got Pokemon cards in one, he's got colored pencils in another, but he is not getting this one because this is my favorite one to date. I have a lot of them. This is my favorite one. I like the way it feels. It feels sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's gonna like stain if you accidentally get makeup on it. I love the colors. I think the passport stuff on it's so cute. Like this would be an adorable makeup travel bag when you go like on vacation and stuff. I love it, so I'm keeping it. Hopefully the best thing about the Ipsy bag this month is not the bag. Another thing that bothers me about Ipsy is they never give you an info card. Like Birchbox and Sephora Play give you an info card, but Ipsy does not. Why Ipsy? Why? They just give you this like card that talks about a bunch of nonsense I don't care about. All right, let's get in. So we have this Akar Nutrient Boost Eye Serum. It's this literally like tiniest little bottle ever. Like how am I supposed to see a difference in my eyes with maybe like two nights worth of product? It was nice, it was okay. I mean, it, I didn't notice like an overnight improvement. My go-to eye cream is the Estee Lauder um, Dramatic. I think it's, it's like, I don't know what it's called. It's the Estee Lauder eye cream. It's in like a blue box. Um, and I love it. You can literally see every time I use that eye serum, uh, the next morning, my fine lines are like more plumped and filled in. It works so well. So I don't, unless something like literally blew my mind within the first one to two uses, I'm not going to ever switch out, even though this is cheaper. But I mean, whatever, it's nice, like maybe on an off night or maybe I'm trying to like stretch out the Estee Lauder, I can use this, but it's okay. It works all right. It moisturized for sure. Like it definitely felt more moisturized, but it almost reminded me of a rose hip seed oil, which I already have that and I use that regularly. So next we have oh, a brush, dude, literally. Look how cute. I love when Ipsy sends me brushes. Like literally Ipsy's the only one that sends me brushes and I love it. If Ipsy sends me a brush in a bag, I don't care what else is in there because it's a winner for me. This one is the eyeshadow brush number 15 and it's by Miss Glam. I've never heard of Miss Glam, but it's so cute. I love it. It feels really good. It doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, it's got sequins on it, one, one pink and one blue. And then there's like a pink and purple brush, which is like so unicorny and cute. Already, I feel like we have a winner. NYX. NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This to me is like, I don't know, it's ridiculous. Like NYX, come on. Mm. It's NYX. I can go to Target or Wegmans or TJ Maxx and get like three of these for $2.99. We've all tried NYX. You don't have to send me a NYX in my Ipsy bag. I mean, I do like the color. I don't know if anybody remembers, but there was this lip gloss, it was called Lip Lights, and there was one called Cappuccino, and it smelled so good, and it tasted really good too, and it looked fine, you know, it didn't last forever, it was like a drugstore brand, but this is what it reminds me of. It does dry matte though, which the other one didn't, but you know, whatever, like I'm glad I have this, I'll use it, but I'm in my Ipsy bag, I'm a little disappointed. I feel like there's supposed to be like high-end stuff in there, and it's NYX. Why am I so negative today? Ugh. Last but not least, we have the Deco Miami Nail Liqueur. I struggle with nail polishes. Like when I get a nail polish in my Ipsy bag, I'm not, I'm not happy. I'm not like, yay, I, have a, I got a nail polish. Because first of all, my nails are destroyed from months and months and months of having acrylics on. So I'm just trying to save them right now. I'm trying to get them like 
in fighting shape again so that I can do something with them and they don't look like disgusting like they look now so when I get a nail polish I'm not like super pumped and I have not tried this brand but I did try it on one nail and I'm not impressed it reminds me of the nail polish you got when you were like a kid and it would come in like this cheap plastic kind of like box thing and, and they were watery. It's watery. I, it, didn't, it didn't dry like evenly. It went on really watery, which I don't like because then it gets all over the place, like all over your cuticles and stuff. And for some reason, Ipsy loves sending me blue nail polishes. I have probably five or six and I like blue nail polishes because I wear blue a lot, but not when the formulation sucks. This formulation sucked. So I would definitely not recommend this. All right, that's it. So the winner, right? That's it. That's it. I feel like I got shorted a product. Like I feel like there's only four products in there. So the winner, obviously, from Ipsy was the brush. Yay! You win! You win! You win! Can't wait to use you. Oh, hi. So that was the winner from Ipsy. Let's talk about the May winner. Ipsy, Birchbox, Sephora Play. Who won? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say Sephora Play won. A, their samples were bigger. B, that primer was in there. And C, they gave me like a, a nice mix of like skincare and makeup. And I like that, like I got a mascara, I got some hair products, I got some primer, I got some skincare stuff. So I really like when I get a mix of stuff. Like I feel like Birchbox is mainly like skincare and Ipsy's like mainly makeup. But I like the Sephora Play gives me a nice mix of stuff to work with. So that was May's subscription box slash bag unboxing and review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you got similar things in your subscriptions this month, let me know if you got the same things or if you got different things. If you've had experiences with this stuff, let me know. Um, and what else? Oh yeah, like, subscribe, and comment. I'm gonna do one of these every month, obviously, and I do a ton of other videos as well, and I'd love to have you be a part of my growing community. My channel's new, but I'm really like into growing a community that's bonded, and we can talk, and we can share secrets, and not those kind of secrets, not like, you know, you're cheating on your husband secrets, but secrets like what you do to make your hair look better or what you do to get rid of pimples, things like that. You can share the other secrets with me too if you want. I won't tell anybody, I promise. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, get a hold of me, watch my videos, become part of my community. I'd be so glad to have you here. I will see you guys soon. Stay kind, stay beautiful. Mwah! Flying high